Hey guys, so I'm gonna dive right into this. I got a lot of requests to do a Photoshop tutorial video on how I did some of my card backs. And so what I'm gonna do is walk you through some of the steps that I do, because there's a lot that goes into this. As you can see down here, these are the layers, and there's quite a few layers in here. But before we really dive into this, let's start from the beginning. So I use Photoshop to do all of my designs. Um, if you've never used Photoshop before, it's not that intimidating. You can pick it up pretty quick. So let's start right off the gate. I come over here and create new. This creates the size of your canvas, the working area. I like to make this the exact size of the card back. That way I know when I print it, it's gonna be the right size. So to get the measurements for this card, I just measured an old vintage Star Wars figure that was still on its card and I just and put it in here and that is a six by nine and then over here you want to make sure inches is selected right here and that's it I usually leave it at 300 that's way plenty uh, nothing else here you really need to change uh, you could do the uh, CMYK color and that gives you a little bit more room to work for printing but honestly RGB is just fine and I'll click create and now I have my working canvas area so what I did was, is I just did a quick Google search and found a vintage Star Wars card back. And I think this was for a Gamorrean guard. It looks like it's already been pre-cut out, but not very good, to be honest, um, because this was just a quick Google search. So look at that, that's horrible. But what I'm gonna show you is how to cut this out. Like, let's change this color, which would be the same process as if you were to cut out the original image. So over here in your little icons, these are your tools. So what I like to use is the quick selection tool super fast and works very well. So once you click that, you're gonna come up to select mask and everything in red is not selected. So if you hold down the alt button and right click and then you just move your mouse back and forth, left to right that is, you can change the size of your brush. Now all you have to do is click once and usually that's it, that's it, you're good to go. <laughs> and then up here, I wanna change the color too. So if you hold down Alt and you scroll your wheel, you'll be able to zoom in. So now I'm doing is holding Alt and right clicking and changing the brush size for this. And now it's selected, but as you can see, the whole picture was selected. So if you hold down Alt again, but left click, it will undo that selection. So now I can kind of tap click in areas it won't be perfect but that's okay because we'll be able to clean that up in just a minute so that's looking pretty good now I'm gonna release the alt button and now try and select that again right there it's not working out but that's pretty good at least for this example all right so now we have these two colors selected now come down to the bottom and select okay so now we have a selection we don't want this lime green color now on my keyboard i'm going to press the delete button and now the green is gone now i'm going to right click and hit deselect and now we have a cut out image. And it's the same process for cutting out the image of the original card. As you can see, it's on a background layer. So if I were to hide that background layer, look at that. Now these little checkered pattern means negative space. There's nothing there, it's alpha channel. So if I were to save this as a PNG, I could then reuse this again and again with different images. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I just dragged in an image I found off Google. This is the uh, Mando from The Mandalorian. But as you can see, it's not fitting underneath it. So all you gotta do is come over to your layers area down here and click it, hold it, and drag it below the card and now it's behind it so now I can reposition this however I want this image might not have been the best one it doesn't really fit too well but it, you get the idea choose a picture that fits in here and what I would probably do in this instance is flip the image yeah I can get away with it in this situation uh, there's a better way of doing this but this is a quick and dirty way but I would do something like this and that looks pretty good right there maybe that's pretty good there we go so now i have a picture for this uh obviously this isn't from return of the jedi so why don't we get rid of that next so over here in your layers area click on the card back also a quick tip for you guys name your layers it definitely helps so right, double click on the text and i'm going to type in card 
back. There we go. Because once you start adding layers, it can get confusing. So there we go. We have our card back selected. And now we're going to zoom in, hold alt, scroll your mouse wheel, zoom in on the area. And over here on the left side, we're going to use the rectangular marquee tool. Click that, click and drag. Now that area is selected. Anything outside of this is not affected by anything that I do. So in this case, it's going to be super easy to get rid of this text. Uh, all I'm going to do is select a brush tool and then over here on the, the color picker, select the image color. See the little dropper once you leave over here, because this black could be different than the black. See, it's slightly different. So now I'm going to hit OK, and now I'm just going to change my brush size, and now I'm going to brush away the text. Look at that. Text gone. Look at that. Now I can put in whatever I want, like the logo for Mandalorian. All right, so here is the logo. I just pulled it offline, and now I'm going to drop it in. Boom. Now that's looking pretty good. Now let's fill in the color of this. Maybe I will do this like an orangey color because that's kind of a desert and feel and looks like the Mandalorian and that's what he would have. So we'll come down here and what we're going to do is add a new layer. This little plus icon with the square, you're going to click that and now I have a new layer. I'm going to name this color, simple. Now. I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to choose a color. What I like to do sometimes is choose a color from the image like that. That's actually pretty good because now it kind of matches with the color of the Mandalorian logo, the image that is in pretty decently. So it's like a beige tan color. Now I'm going to hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is come on over and I'm going to do a polygon lasso tool. Let's show you that one. Now on the border of where I want this to color to go, I'm just going to click 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 kind of highlight this there we go and now it is connected so now that we have this selected we can right click come down to fill and what we're going to do is click the contents box and choose color now we're going to choose the color we just chose or you can eye drop the same you know image but for the sake of this i'm going to eye drop that color hit okay hit okay boom now we have that but look how nasty that looks remember make sure it's below the card look at that what it's crazy right so now we're gonna do the same thing with the one up here so we're gonna choose a new layer and now there it is right click fill and it should actually be the same color look at that as last time and now we have an almost completed card back how simple and fast that is wow so now what we're gonna do is put in a text layer. So up here off to the side of the T, that is your text. Now all you have to do is click. Now you have your text and I'm gonna type in Mando. How about that? Now press V on your keyboard and that brings back up your selection tool. That brings up your move tool, excuse me. And then here is your text. Too small and it's also the wrong color. So you can come over here and press type tool or you can press T on your keyboard, which brings up the text tool. Now you can change the text. So highlight the text by double clicking. Now on the top of your screen, you'll see the text size. Now you can just type it in. You can type in a number or what you can do is on your keyboard, press the up arrow key and keep pushing it until you find the size you want. That looks fine for now. And then you press T again, double click it. We can change the color by tapping the color over here on the top and let's just go black. Hit OK. There you go. We have text. Obviously that's not the right text that you were probably going to want to use for this, but that gives you the idea. And that's it. How simple is that? So cool. This template I'm going to include in the description of this video for you to download for free. But what I am also going to do is clean some of this up before I do that. Uh, as you can see, this is not a very good template. So what I actually might do is my, I might give you this one that's already cleaned up and nice and whatever, but there'll be a link in the description for you to uh, grab. So there you go. That is it. It's super simple, super fast. Uh, you can knock one of these out in just a couple of minutes. If you guys like this video, consider subscribing. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment below. Let me know if this was helpful for you. And, you know, maybe I'll continue doing more advanced and also beginner level uh, tutorials in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now get out there. Make some art.